Welcome, I'm Emily, I'm the Fine Art Medium, and today we are going to be talking about free will and why it is important. So if you don't know what free will, it's pretty much the ability that we have as beings to have control over thyself or oneself and be able to make our own decisions and do our own actions, pretty much. That's just like the quick dumbed down, I don't know, definition. I know the Bible, I'm sure, fucking can go through 30 pages talking about it, but I'm pretty sure a lot of my viewers are not too keen on the Bible. <laughs> so anyway, free will. Why is it important? Well, it actually is important because A, it protects us. B, it protects us and see it protects us no, i'm just kidding um actually free will helps us pretty much live our lives honestly but it does it does it does protect us from negative forces all right if you believe in god you believe in god whatever you believe in we were given the ability to make our own choices our own decisions that's just how we are created. And so that did help us when coming into contact with negative entities. And this, again, is just a really quick summary. There is a bajillion things I could say, but I'm trying to keep it in the theme here of where I'm going with my experiences that I had you know, gone through the last few weeks. And so I wanted to share those in conjunction with, you know, what I learned. But basically, here's the lowdown. When I help other people, it is very important that whatever you need my help for, if it's to remove negative energy, to kick out an entity or a demonic entity, whatever, familiar, I don't know. It is very important that you do not half-ass anything and you you have to be a thousand percent serious on kicking out or wanting a certain solution, okay? Because if you're not, I can't do much of anything. And so I learned this quite a few times with how many clients like three like three or four the last three or four that I had so I was helping client a get rid of a demonic entity all right and so they had they were almost like a two-parter like a part a and a part b because there are multiple parties in the situation that needed help at the same time but like they were kind of as one and when you're helping somebody get rid of entities you can't do it that way you, you can't i can't help you that way each person has to be done separately because each person is their own person right and so i had to help person a first and i was able to help them pretty decently but then Part B needed help too. But the problem with part B was they didn't quite believe in the whole demon thing. All right. So that's a problem. And two, they didn't really see that they had a problem, which is yeah, not good. <laughs> uh, and so that just makes things very complicated because you have one person that you know, is so sure that they're 100% serious, they're desperate, they want, they want their shit fixed. Whereas the person B is like, I don't see what's wrong, like, my life sucks, this shit's happening, but it can't be because of a demon. Like, demons aren't real, or, I don't know, I'm a positive person, why would I have demons, right? Well... That's not how that works, unfortunately. And so while I was able to help person A, person B, I could not help 
because they were unwilling to see the truth, right? And if they're unwilling to see the truth, they're not going to see that they have a problem. And if they don't think they have a problem, well, I can't help them because I need their permission too, obviously. So it's not just that because they have a problem and they're not seeing it that I can't help them. If they don't acknowledge the issue, then in their minds, they're just going to be like, I got no problem. And the attachment will still be there because they have to say, I want this gone. I want this out. Get it gone. If they don't do that, the attachment's still going to be there. That's, that's the problem. And then you have number two. Even if I did kick that entity out, they're just going to come back because the attachment isn't broken. But also, if I don't get permission to from the client, I get blocked typically, typically. And I can get blocked a few ways here. One, either another being, whether they're usually it's like a neutral or like a positive being, they don't want me to interfere because they have to be the ones, person B has to be the one to say, yes, I have a problem, but please get rid of it. They have to say, get rid of it. That's the problem. And so it's kind of like they block me, literally block me. And then two, if that being wants them to learn a lesson, they will also block me because they're trying to teach them a lesson. And two, uh, or it could be training, which is part of a lesson. But so I can get blocked multiple ways when trying to help somebody when their free will is kind of on the teetering side and they're not 100% serious in what they want. And then I had another person. So new scenario. This person, their free will, <laughs> they wanted the thing gone, but then they were still like communicating with it. But like they wanted it gone, but like they would acknowledge it and try to mess with it. And it's like, you are allowing the attachment to remain because you're showing interest in it. And to me, that proves that you don't technically want it gone all the way. And so that makes it really difficult for me to do anything. So you can do all your cleansing rituals and all that stuff and I can kick it out. But if you're like still creating a doorway for it and inviting it in and as you communicate with it, yeah, that ain't, that ain't helping. <laughs> that ain't helping. And so it is very important that you have your shit under control. And I try to say that with as much love as possible, but it's true. All right. So if you're like, I want it gone. And then you're like messing with it and you're talking to it. And I don't know what you're trying to get out of it. I can't help you. Scenario number three, I was, and sorry, I'm trying to reposition myself. Person C or D or whoever we're, whatever letter we're on, C or D. Person number three, scenario number three, how's that? Um, they wanted a situation to be over, okay? They did, but they were unsure of whether or not they should handle it themselves or if they should get help. And so they were unsure of that. And so I think they had some lessons to learn and some training that they needed to do. And so I was blocked by a third party uh, being, which, you know, understandable. And so no matter how hard I tried, okay, through the meditation, typically when I um trying to help somebody with a demonic entity i will do my meditation and usually that demonic entity will harass me or try to scare me away from helping that person and so they make their presence known one way or another 
and that and I know that I'm dealing with whatever it is right usually that's how it is well I knew this person had a situation because I've helped them before and well this time around I was trying to get in there and see why the fuck is this entity just constantly after this person what the fuck is going on and so while I went into my meditation I got on the astral realm I was at my house there were two uh spirits one male one female I didn't recognize did I recognize them hold on I think I think I recognize holy shit thinking back I think I recognize oh my god okay sorry having like an epiphany in mid fucking filming session here um okay so the one spirit I've seen before I think she's been around me a few times the other one though I did not see his face but I know it was a he I don't recognize him but so if okay they were blocking me hard hard and at first I thought it was a demon attack because what they did was they neutralized me to where I couldn't do anything I was kind of like in a uh not as I guess almost like a sleep paralysis but like it was weird but they weren't evil it was it's strange anyway they prevented me from doing what I wanted to do and kept me in my little meditation area and I was on the ground it felt like I was having a fucking brain aneurysm like they did something where it neutralized me to where I was just on the ground and I couldn't move it's kind of scary I thought I was dying but so the lesson here was that they're trying to let the other person learn how to do it themselves they didn't want me inter they didn't want me giving the person answers and i'm just like but they wanted the answers and they were like no see now it's i'm getting like this is frustrating because I thought about it over and over again and I'm like what the fuck is that why did that happen what is going on and it's it's now I have the fucking memory of it go figure right and so they wanted that person to learn on their own go figure right they didn't want me getting in the way and giving them all the answers it's fine to learn this way you guys thank you yeah that's this is, this is what I'm dealing with you guys oh it gets frustrating especially when you lose fragments of memories of the experiences and you just you'll be doing something you're focused heavily on something and boom it comes back to you yeah nice timing you guys <laughs> no but in all seriousness I am always grateful for the lessons that I am given and yeah so free will here that's important and you're like, how does this connect to free will? Well, the person was teetering back and forth whether or not I I should help them or if they should get the answer on their own. And then they even admitted to me afterwards. But also, they thought maybe their guides were trying to teach them as well. But so that's understandable. But that's why it's really important because free will that controls so much of a person and it does keep us safe now does it suck when I want to help somebody but can't because they haven't fully committed yeah it does but you know what that's a lesson they also have to learn it's not just me it's it's a two-party system here we're all working together here we're all learning lessons together <laughs> But so that's why it's very important to understand that the whole free will thing is very important when dealing with negative entities and you're trying to get rid of them or energy or familiar, whatever. That's why it's important. 
not just like the basic stuff, like the other, other stuff that you hear about in like the Bible, but I'm trying to be more like oriented to a specific theme here, but that's why it's important. And so if you ever try to reach out to me for help, always keep that in mind too. But also here's another thing. When you're all over the place, I'm an empath. I start to be all over the place too. So it kind of fucks me up when trying to see what's going on. So let's say you have an illness, right? Well, I'm going to get that illness. That's what happens. <laughs> um, if you have dyslexia, I'm a suddenly going to be dyslexic for a little bit. That's just how it is. It just, it sucks for me, but... That is validation that I'm on the right track and I am connecting with you, which is why um, I kind of see it as a blessing because that's the validation I need usually when I'm trying to help somebody is when I pick up their, uh, I don't know, ailments or like whatever is going on with them. It actually helps me go on the right path when helping you. But also... That is another reason why I do not help multiple people at the same time because then you have different people with different issues and then they intertwine and then I don't know whose issue goes with the other and it's a clusterfuck and I don't know what's going on and I'm confused and all the entities are attacking me and I don't know which one goes with who and it's confusing. So if you contact me and you're like, hey, I need help and I'm like, it's gonna be a while it's going to be a while. So just keep that in mind. But right now I'm taking a break from paranormal help right now from um, clients coming in from, you know, like the YouTube channel and my Instagram because there's a situation at work that I got to fix here. <laughs> so the place I work at there is a negative entity there and he's puppeteering these other smaller entities and it's just a toxic environment. And so I'm trying to get that shit taken care of because it's getting in the way of my health, my coworkers' health, um, people's emotions at work. And it's creating a very toxic environment and I don't like to work in a toxic environment. Like fuck that shit. And so I'd rather just like, but with the whole free will thing, now we have a certain uh, coworker that has a demonic attachment who, if I said, hey, by the way, I'm a psychic. I can talk to dead people and I see other entities. If I said that to him, sorry, I'm trying not to hiccup. If I said that to him, he'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Get away from me. Like, I don't foresee myself being able to help this person that's just how it is it sucks it sucks but they have to be the one that be like okay yeah I do need help then if they were ever to admit it then absolutely even if they're not so nice and are nasty or, or nasty to me like I'm still gonna help that person if they ask for it if they ask for it but so that's why it's kind of hard to like I just wish you guys, I could just hit the goddamn lottery and say, bye bitch, and just do this full time. I really, I really wish I fucking could. I wish I could. All right. It would be a goddamn dream. But, you know, you got gas right now being higher than fucking Snoop Dogg. Okay. Um, uh, pe most people now can't even afford to drive to work. All right. Um, I can't just quit my job. Plus, with all the medical bills and all that shit, it, I wouldn't be able to survive. Like, let's be fucking real. Like, holy shit, I can't just quit that job. So it sucks for the time being, which is why I am trying to go through my office and take care of some shit. So it makes my life easier. But also, you know, that shit don't come home with me. But I'm trying to take care of as much as I can without having to ask permission 
okay? Because that's key. Um, I already helped one person. There's another per. I'm slowly, okay, being in an office full of men, okay, there's a lot of them. Most, there's only what, four girls out of like 16? Wait, no. There's like 16 men-ish. There's like 20 some people there. And 16, 17 of them are men and the rest, three or four of them are female. That includes me. And so <laughs> it gets pretty rowdy. But you have these guys here that are all like macho, I don't believe in this shit, blah, 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 sports, and blah, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. And so they're not going to just be like, I need help. They're, I'm sorry. And I'm not trying to be nasty, but a, a lot of men that I know aren't comfortable asking for help. They're fucking stubborn, okay? I mean, I'm stubborn too. But a lot of them, and with their personality traits that I'm working with, they are fucking stubborn. They're not going to ask for help. Fuck. If they're lost, they ain't going to be asking for directions, if you know what I mean. But no, seriously. They are, they're a stubborn group, okay? And I'm not, not because they're men. They're just, they're just, a, they're just fucking stubborn, Okay. Before I get fucking canceled for gender, whatever the fuck. These people, regardless of gender, are fucking stubborn. And they're not going to outwardly ask me for help. But I did get another person that I'm going to be working on soon. And hopefully, that's one more done. And I'm hoping to make my rounds in that office and get rid of some of that negativity. Now, if I can't get Demon Boy, does it suck? Yes. But then I also have to pay attention to what it does around the office too, because that motherfucker, that thing is nasty. That thing is huge, okay? He was like seven feet tall. And so I gotta watch to and make sure that it's not influencing the other uh, co-workers because I can do that but yeah that's why it's important and it's kind of like I'm stuck but I can do some things and yeah this pertains to paranormal help if you need it um, I took the option off of my website because I'm taking a break and but it didn't really matter because I hadn't had a single booking on my website anyway I've been getting them all on, pa not Patreon, wow, Instagram. I've been getting them all on Instagram anyway. I haven't had a single one on my website. They're just, yeah, all on, all on Instagram. So it didn't really matter. But anyway, I thought I would just share those experiences. Um, but free will and how it, it's important when dealing with entities, that is something to take note of. But uh, I don't know if this video was helpful. I don't know. I felt like I kind of just went all over the place. Hopefully you got the gist. If not, I'm sorry. Uh, better luck next time. No, I, I, I am literally working to do better with my delivery. I'm trying not to curse as much. It's really hard. Um, but uh, yeah. And yeah, here's my new background. <laughs> I hope you guys like the video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.